Bonjour. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. I love you. We <laughs> gave our audience quite the background um, story for you. Um, it's your illustrious career, but we wanted to start with one specific aspect of your career, one that's very near and dear to us, your duo career. You've right. played with so many legendary pianists, mm -hmm. and you've played with family members. That's and right. we're very curious what the experience has been like for you in these different roles as a duo pianist, whether it be with your sister, Alfred Brendel, or your daughter? Mm -hmm. um, it's a difficult, <laughs> very difficult question uh, because um, when you have family, mm -hmm. um, you don't have, um, how to say, you just say whatever you think. Yes. And, no filter. Uh, no yes. filter. <laughs> so we're getting in some big fights. Oh, really? Yes. More with your sister mm, than yes. your daughter. Yes, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so. Do you have the do you have the ultimate say with your daughter whereas with your sister well, you can argue? Um, not anymore. <laughs> but uh, with my sister I used to uh, be five years older. Yeah sister so yes. I used to really give the instruction but of right. course it's not the same anymore. <laughs> and so it's almost the music flying around. Not quite but almost oh, my <laughs> goodness, a tornado. Whoa. Be a fly on that wall. Yes, yes. But then playing with yes, artists but, like Brendel or yes. Nikolaeva, I mean, that must yes. have been incredible. Yes, of course. And we learned so much from it. And even with my sister, of course, normally we're aiming for the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's yes. just a different way of expressing of it. So that's why. But at the end, we always come to... Um, how do you say a one thing to make together yes. mm -hmm. and of course when it works it works very well because we're sisters and we know each other so well right. and that's why I really admire you both because <laughs> you're also like one thing and <laughs> I think it helps that, that we're, we're actually yeah not we're not related mm -hmm. so, or romantically involved yeah mm -hmm. so we have some separation right and because we can imagine you know we both have siblings we can imagine it yeah, getting not going a little tense <laughs> <laughs> even though we love our siblings truly <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask you a question about your jury position here. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't want to ask you about specific artists, but we're curious what your thoughts are on programming and its importance in the competition setting. Because we've been mm -hmm. talking to the audience so much about the programs here. How much does it matter to you as a judge? Uh, what they play, yeah, the yeah. choice of yeah. yeah, the choice of repertoire. Yes, yes. Um, I think uh, some artists bring a uh, very interesting program, mm -hmm. something new, but uh, kind of discovery for us also, mm -hmm. or the combination of program that's really very interesting. And of course, some bring a program that uh, shows their strengths. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, a real art, <laughs> how to choose a program. Do you have specific advice for the listening audience you know, here at the Clyburn, here for our online audience mm -hmm. on Medici TV, but also just for uh, listeners of classical music in general? What sort of advice mm -hmm. would you give? Well, I th I so. mm -hmm. so. <laughs> um, probably the first thing is to look for something that touches you mm -hmm. as a person. Of course, it's different for each person, but some uh, pianists play very, very well, and you know intellectually that it's very good, it's very difficult, it, it's fantastic to manage it. And then the others have little moments where it really gets your soul, yes. and it's interesting to compare those. Absolutely. Well, that's good advice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we always kind of look for the ones that move us kind of to the yes. core. But yes. um, you've had such a profoundly musical life. Your mother was mm -hmm. a pianist, mm -hmm. your sister's a pianist, mm -hmm. and, you know, your lifelong, husband's your husband's a conductor, a conductor Kent Nagano. Yes. How do you balance the immersive quality, the intensity of a musical life with other aspects of your personal life? How, how do you try to find a balance day to day? Right. Uh, since we are all musical, of course, music is our life, and everything is around music. Um, but of course, uh, everything what we do nurtures what we play. Absolutely. So the nature, the air, the language, the literature, the visual art, and even exercise. You yes. need mm -hmm. to have some freedom physically to do whatever you want to do on the piano okay. or on Absolutely. an instrument. So everything is centered around the piano, but also this is so that we can grow as a person. 
we couldn't agree well, more. Well, we're unfortunately just about out of time, but we're going to ask you a couple of quick fire questions mm -hmm. we want you to answer very rapidly mm -hmm. um, because we think it might show some quick different sides to your personality. Yes, Mari Kodama, you are in the hot seat for Clyde burning questions. Let's go. <laughs> so the first question for you is, what is your favorite art museum in the entire world? Um, Musée d'Orsay. Well, okay, what's your favorite part of the piano? Part of the piano? <laughs> oh, uh, this I cannot answer. <laughs> you need Very the, strange you need question. An yes. What's your go-to pre-concert meal? Uh, like what food do you eat just before you perform? Oh, banana, chocolate, lots of water. Good. Good. Okay. okay, what do you crave Après, Après le concert. Yes. Après, champagne. Yes. Champagne, I love yes. that. Brother. And what is your favorite online website? Um, it's very strange, but Meteo. Oh, oh okay. Wow. That's the first thing I would. Awesome. Okay, awesome. that makes sense. Well, thank you for joining us.